All right, Shalom. Giving all glorification, honor, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shai, Bahasim, Rakak Wadash. And double honor is always due unto the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the bishops and elders who rule and teach the church well. Salutations, peace, and blessings be unto the elect. All right, the Bayasha Dawada, that's the house of David. I'm Shamar Moth, and I uh, wanted to get into a quick video. I was actually thinking about the scripture. I'll read it. I was thinking about this scripture yesterday. All right. Uh, Matthew's the 16th chapter. All right. How shall I deal with his men? And uh, let's just get right into it. And the reason I was thinking about this is because, you know, the ministers of the new covenant, so-called, these, these, these guys who went off and, you know, betrayed their elders and, and, and remixed the doctrine and, and talk shit about the apostles and, you know, those guys, um, they're out here boasting and bragging about how they're not going to die. Well, some, some brothers have to die. All right. So that prophecy in, in Revelation, the 20th chapter and the fourth verse can be fulfilled. All right. But they're going to die in the truth, man. They're going to die believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh as martyrs. All right. They're going to die for a testimony and guess what they're going to be risen up first when the house shot comes back that's going that's pursuant to uh first thessalonians the fourth chapter and you know like we've said you know over and over again with dealing you know when dealing with these men calling themselves the the, the, the so-called ministers of the new covenant we're not saying you're going to die okay but some of the elect will um, but you, hey, but hey, y'all gotta repent though, cause if you, hey, cause if you don't repent, you're gonna be destroyed. Say that. Matthew chapter sixteen, verse twenty-eight. Verily I say unto you, all right, truly, I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste the death. That's right there. Cut y'all. He said there be some standing here who shall not taste the death. All right, some. He didn't say all. He said some. Truly I say unto you, there are some of those standing here which shall not taste of death until they have seen the Son of Man coming in his kingdom, right? So what, what, what does this mean, okay? This can't make any sense, all right, without reincarnation, okay? Now, uh, <laughs> I did a little bit of research, not a whole lot, and uh, one, I wanted to see what the Christians thought about this verse, and that they didn't understand it at all. You know, they was talking about the transfiguration. They was talking about uh, 70 AD, you know, it being 70 AD. You know, uh, I mean, uh, you know, this is talking about the Lord's second coming, man. Okay. And the reason these Christians are clueless, okay, because these are, these are dark, these are hard sayings, man. All right. This book is full of, of, of hard sayings and, and, and dark parables and grave sentences. And the only ones who can break these things down and understand them is the elect men of Yahweh Bashem the prophets, man. All right, the, the righteous prophets, beginning at the top with the with the pillars of the church, man. The apostles, the great millstone on down. Right. This is talking about Yahweh Shai's return with, with power and great glory in them ships, man. The chariots, the chariots of Israel. All right. So yeah. This proves reincarnation, but well, you know what? Let's read about. Let's read about one one of those hard sayings because I was reading about that before I started the video in John the sixth chapter. This is a hard saying, man. You know what he said in Matthew sixteen? That's a, that's a hard saying. You you you're not gonna understand it unless the Lord's supping with you, man. Unless he's anointed your eyes with that eye salve from on high. Okay. Um, where do I want to start? Where he said, do if this offends you. See, because a lot of, of his disciples, when he was on the scene preaching and teaching 2,000 years ago, left, left, 
Okay, over this. Uh, man. I mean, this was a stumbling block. The Lord's, you know, constantly throwing out stumbling blocks, all right, to purge out the undesirables, man. Okay, because again, one more time, this is only for the elect. Uh, I can't find out. I can't find out where he said this. Do what this offends you. And I was just reading this. Hang on. Here it is. All right. This is, uh, again, John chapter 6 and verse 55. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Now, okay, looking at this from a carnal perspective, you know, you, you would think he's talking about cannibalism, but that's not, you know, most high forbid, man. Yao bashim yao shai forbid. He's, he's not talking about cannibalism, okay? It says, as the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me, right? This is that bread which came down from heaven, right? Because did not Yahushua say he's the word made flesh? Right? You partake of him by by uh, uh, partaking of his word, man. Learning from him. Okay? But you got to be spiritual. Because again, a carnal, a wicked carnal Jake, all right, would think, wow, man, he's talking about drinking blood and eating his flesh. That's cannibalism. Nope. Verse 58, this is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Okay? These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, verse 60, when they had heard this, said, this is an hard saying, who can hear it? Right? This is a hard saying, who can hear it? The answer is the elect. When Yahushua knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Do it, this offends you? <laughs> what and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth, right? It's the Spirit that makes you alive. That you know, Spirit's got to be quickened, man. Okay? you got to be made alive in the Spirit to be able to see this. It says the flesh profiteth nothing because these a lot of these Jews at the time, all right, they of the uh, so southern kingdom, Judah, Levi, and Benjamin, a lot of them, all right, uh, uh, you know, uh, didn't have the right spirit. They weren't in the spirit. The spirit wasn't dealing with them. Okay, they boasted and bragged about being a Jew, all right, being part of uh, the southern kingdom. Okay, but that doesn't profit you anything. It is the spirit that quickeneth. Right? The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Continuing on, it says, but there are some of you that believe not. Right? It says, for, for Yahushua knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, therefore, I say, uh, therefore said I unto you, verse 65, that no man could come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. You can't come to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. You can't come to Yahweh Shai. All right, unless unless the father gives that to you, man. Unless he get, blesses you with that. All right, unless he gives you that gift of faith. All right, and makes your eyes to, 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 to see these things. Makes your eyes to understand these things. Okay, opens your ears so you can hear and understand these dark uh, parables and hard sayings. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. All right. Oh, John 6 and 66, <clears throat> two thirds, man. <laughs> then said, Yahweh shine to the 12, will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. All right. Well, Simon Peter was King David in the reincarnation. Malak Dawadah, he was given the keys of the kingdom. King David will sit on his throne. His throne will be reestablished in this earth, and he will be under Yahweh Shah, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But he will sit on his throne. All right. 
Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. You know, so this wasn't talking about, you know, literally drinking blood and eating his flesh. That's insane, man. That is absolutely insane. That's a, <clears throat> you got to have a reprobate spirit on you. Okay. To, 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 to think that. All right. We got to read that word every day, man. That that's that's that. Uh, again, manna from heaven. That's the word. Okay, that is the word. And we believe, verse sixty nine, and are sure that thou art the Masiach, the Messiah, the Son of the Living Power. That's right, man. And that's what we believe, and we're sure. Um, so yeah, hard sayings. Proverbs chapter one and verse six to understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. And the only ones that can, you know, understand these proverbs and interpretations and dark sayings is the elect men. Psalms 78 and verse two, I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, right? This is, a, you know, this is an all-star right here. You know, Mark chapter 4 and verse 11, And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, of God, Selakia, the kingdom of Yahweh. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, right? To keep this hidden, you know? When he was with his disciples, he expounded on what he was saying. And, and, and gave his men that insight. He did that, and that shows you that, that, that he don't want everybody getting it. He, didn't even, he, don't, he don't even want the two-thirds to get it. Two-thirds of his own household, he don't want to get it. So how is an Edomite going to get it? All right, if, if two-thirds have been blinded and cut off for their unbelief, how is a so-called white man going to understand this? Or any other heathen for that matter? <clears throat> oh here you go Mark chapter 4 and verse 34 I just said mentioned this but without a parable spake he not unto them and when they were alone he expounded all things to his disciples right Psalm chapter 49 and 4 I will incline mine ear to a parable I will open my dark saying upon the harp Right, so this this book is full of dark sayings or dark parables. Hard sayings. Grave sentences, that's an Ecclesiast Ecclesiastic is thirty nine, I believe. Yep. Ecclesiasticus chapter thirty nine and three, he will seek out the secrets of grave sentences. And be conversant in dark parables. Again, that's the elect. All right. So going back to Matthew 16, this can only make sense if reincarnation, you know, is uh is true. And reincarnation is true. So I'll read it again. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 28. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. All right? Again, that's talking about when he comes back on them ships, man. All right? And he beams up his elect from one end of heaven to the other in them chariots. But let's get a couple scriptures proving reincarnation, okay? Uh, second Ezra. In verse 35. All right. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 35. All right. All right reincarn reincarnation is real, man. Okay. Reincarnation is real. Again, uh, Simon Peter, he was a King David coming back in the reincarnation. 
Okay, Yahweh was shy. All right, and in a past life was Solomon. And another past life, he was uh, Isaac. All right, he was Adam. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, 2 Ezra chapter 14, verse 35. For after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again. Okay? Basically how it goes, when you die, your, your body goes into the, into the grave. All right? Your spirit returns to the Heavenly Father which gave it. All right? You receive your judgment and you come back in the third or fourth generation or whenever the Lord wants you to come back. Okay? To live out, you know, your judgment on earth. Okay? For after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again, and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the words so like and the works, all right, of the ungodly shall be declared. Okay? And that's happening right now, the, the, the names of the righteous being made manifest. All right, and the, and the works of the ungodly are being declared. That's that's happening right now. Okay. So this right here proves reincarnation when we shall live again. Okay. Um, let's see, Job chapter 19. All right, this is uh, Job, the book of Job, chapter 19. Okay, Job understood reincarnation. All right, only the elect understand this. And that's who the, ultimately, that's who these videos are for, right? The elect, lambs, the how about you, shy? Okay, starting first and foremost with the 144K, but also you believers, okay? Y'all will, will believe this, man. All right. Uh, because the Lord gave you that gift of faith as well. All right, that, that gift of faith, all right, the, the ability to believe, all right, these words. Okay, that's a gift, man. Um, trusting in Yahweh Shem Yahshai in these days, man, and, you know, as we go into Jacob's trouble is a, is a blessing, man. That you trust in, in the Lord, that's a, that's a blessing that he made you, all right, to be able to do that, all right. Job chapter 19 and verse 25, for I know that my Redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Okay. And we in that latter day. It says, and though after my skin worms destroyed his body, yet in my flesh shall I see the most high, Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay. He said he's going to see him in his flesh, man, after, his, after that body was destroyed. All right. Whom I shall see for myself. Verse 27. And mine eyes shall behold and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. So Job understood reincarnation perfectly and knew that he was going to be back during this time to see Yahweh Shai come, man. Okay? And and Job represents who? The 144,000. All right? Again, his servants, the prophets. All right? But you're not going to get it if 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 it wasn't given to you, man. All right. You're not going to get this if it's not given to you. All right. Because again, two thirds of you so-called, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians who are the Lord's chosen people. Okay. Along with you speckled birds, all right, are, are, are walking in a spirit of slumber. Y'all are slumbering out here in the noonday. Gross darkness is covering y'all, man. There's lots of scriptures. Oh, what about when Yahusha said, um, this is Elijah. All right. Did, are you going to call Yahusha a liar, vocab alone? Hey, that's what you're doing. You're calling, you calling Yahusha a liar because Yahusha, all right, uh, believed in reincarnation, obviously. 
and taught that to his men. You know, you out here saying that that reincarnation isn't a thing. That is false. I mean, you a blasphemer, vocab Malone. <laughs> and most I got a special kind of judgment for guys like you, too. All right. This is. Uh, again, Matthews, chapter 11 and verse 14. Oh, let's start up a little, though. Let's sit here. Hold on. Let's start up a little. This ain't going to be much longer. Like, like I said, I was thinking about that verse. You know, some of you, you know, standing here, there be some of you standing here, you know, roughly paraphrasing it. Again, Matthew sixteen twenty eight. I will not taste of death. All right. That can only be, you know, that verse can only make sense. All right. If reincarnation is 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 a real thing, and it is a real thing, man. All right. Matthew's 20, uh, 11, it's like you. Matthew's chapter 11 and verse 11. Or let's start in 10. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare his way before thee. Verily I say unto you, all right, among them that are born of women, there have not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Okay? And from the days of John the Baptist, verse 12, until now the kingdom of heaven suffer violence. And the violent take it by force, right? They was in, you know, they was under Roman, you know, they was they was dealing with Roman persecution back then. You know, the Romans was in the power seat, same as same as it is today with the revival of the of, of that ancient Roman Empire, all right, the last leg of it. Uh for all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, verse 13. And if you will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. Okay. So John the Baptist came, uh, John the Baptist in a past life was who? Elijah. Okay. Verse 15, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Right. That's the, the elect. Okay. Only the elect have ears to hear this. Only the elect can hear these uh, and understand these dark sayings, these hard sayings and, and, and grave sentences and dark parables. Okay? That's a good chapter, man. Sorry, I was a little distracted. It's like you. Forgive me. So, yeah, you have a shot. I taught reincarnation because reincarnation is a real thing, man. Reincarnation back, reincarnate flesh. All right? Back in the flesh. Synonymous with, with regeneration. Okay. Oh. Ezra. Uh, taught reincarnation. Where is that? Second Ezra 16. Yeah. You gonna call Ezra uh, a liar? Vocab alone? <laughs> He's striking out left and right. Boy, <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Let's get right to the point. Second Ezra 16 and verse 16, like as an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer, returneth not backward. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. Right? And, and, this, and the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yashah is plaguing this earth, man. He's bringing and, and sending out major judgments. Okay, famines, earthquakes, pestilences, okay, evils, you know. It says in verse 17, woe is me, woe is me. So here goes Ezra pronouncing, a, you know, death upon himself, all right? Who will deliver me in those days? The days he's talking about is now, 
So Ezra's back, man. Preaching, prophesying, going into a talking about the end constantly. We don't know who we are. You know, that doesn't matter. As long as we're of the elect, doesn't matter who we are. The beginning of sorrows, verse 18, and great mornings, that's where we are now. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? See? He knew he was going to be back witnessing this in the flesh, reincarnated. <laughs> Daniel. All right, this is a milk scripture. Daniel chapter 12, and verse 13, but go thou thy way till the end be. For thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. What is Daniel's lot? All right, to be a prophet. So guess what? Daniel's back to receive his reward, to not taste the death till he sees the Lord coming back. You know? Traveling in the greatness of his strength, man, with all them ships. Yeah. Daniel's out on the highways and byways, man, teaching. Oh, man, what is that in Revelation? Bear with me because uh, I think it's Revelation 10. John the Revelator. Um taught reincarnation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Get right to the point. Revelation chapter 10 and verse 11. He said unto me, me being John, all right, thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. There's no record of John doing that. John died slaving away in, 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 in Patmos. All right, slaving away for the Romans in the salt mines. When did he, when did he prophesy again? Before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Right? So, I mean, you know, Revelation is easily proven out of the scriptures. And we're supposed to, the, the Bible sa you know, says plainly, you know, that we're supposed to prove all things. How we prove, prove all things? By going to the precepts, man. All right? By, you know, line upon line, right? Precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little. We get, we get the precepts and link them together. All right? Uh, it's, it's, that's a, this is an easy concept. All right, if the Lord, again, if the Lord is dealing with you. All right, so yeah, just, hey, just, you know, something I was thinking about. Lord willing, edification came out, right? I don't want to rock this out. I want to say shalom onto the next video.